Welcome to VSOL KM University channel. In this video, we'll be covering how to create a tool table using the Excel input. So if you've ever taken a look at your tool table, you'll notice that there is a way to both import and out, output uh, your tool tables. So for instance, let's go into the import tools. In the top right corner here, you can see that library type is the TAB format. The TAB is the internal format we're using here that you can see here, and all of our default tool tables come in with that as well. But there are other formats you can use here that have been covered in previous training videos. In this video, we'll be talking about how to use the Excel format or the CSV format. It's basically the same sort of format. Uh, but let's just look at, at the Excel format here. So you can actually import from an Excel file that has data relating to your tools. Now to show you how that works, I'm actually going to output this current table that I have here using the out, out export function. I'll export all of it. And what I can do is uh, output it to wherever, uh, whatever folder I'd like to output it to and in whatever file format I'd like to output it to. In this case, I'm gonna output it as an XLS and then I'm gonna just output it the way I like. Now, when I click export, what it'll do is it'll take all that information from our current SolidCam tool table and output it into an Excel file. Now, I've already done that, so I'm just going to load that file. And basically, what that file looks like, you can see the tabs on the bottom there. The first bit of information is the fact that this tool table was assigned to a particular post. So, we take a look at this, this table here, it actually is using this particular post. So when it gets output, it actually shows that that is the one that it's output to. So this is very similar to, to when you define your tool table inside Telecam when you relate it to a machine. The next tab shows me all my milling tools. Now this is a milling tool table so that this tab says milling. Now we can see all my tools. And you can see it has all the information you either would have put in or weren't even aware of, if you scroll all the way to the right here, you can see there's lots of other information that um, I didn't actually plug in, but is defaulted by the software when I don't put it in. So you see there's a lot of zeros there. Uh, but essentially, this gives us the ability to take a look at the formatting of this Excel, Excel file and then use that formatting our, ourselves. Now, what we normally recommend is if you've gotten an Excel file from your tooling supplier, and the headers on here, the column numbers, everything is completely different. What you wanna do is take that information, reformat it to look like this, and then you'll see that it actually can do an auto import of all those tools. Now to make it really simple, what I've done is I've taken, I've saved a copy of this, and I've actually just deleted everything except for the first tool, just as a guide. And then I've created that second tool. So I've called it tool two, basically has very similar information. In this case though, instead of a half inch flat end mill, I'm making it a one inch flat end mill. I've actually typed in what that is there. So we're calling that uh, diameter symbol one test end mill. And I've given it some other dimensions all the way across here. And again, if we don't know what some of these variables are for, I'm looking at these headers and some of these probably don't even apply to my tool, you can set it to zero. Essentially what I did was I took that first row, made a copy of it and changed what I wanted to change. Now, what's very important here is not just the formatting of the headers, because SolidCam is looking for those variable numbers, those names. Uh, it's the formatting of these, uh, these particular ones here. You can see that little green triangle there. Uh, that's just letting you know that the input there it has to be a certain format, or else it won't be read by SolidCam. Now let's go back to SolidCam. Let's say we took our information from our tooling supplier and now we've made our, our Excel uh, file and now we want to import it. So I'll go to import. And like we saw a second ago, I'm just gonna go to my library type and we're gonna be looking for XLS, which is the Microsoft Excel format. And now I'll browse to where I, I kept that library. Now that particular library I created was going to be in a particular file location that I'm just gonna go looking for now. As soon as I choose a folder, it's actually gonna show me all the Excel files in that folder. So you can see it's related to a particular machine. This is the example that I output early in this video. And you can see that it has all my tools from my, my tool table from that part file we have open. Now, let's take a look at the one that I labeled tool table trial one. That imports the original file, the original uh, uh, tool one from that file. And in addition to that, it actually loaded in my tool two with my proper description, 
it's a one inch tool. All the other dimensions that I plugged in here, and you, again, you can scroll all the way to the right and see what's in there. But basically, one inch tool, I told it it has a cutting length of 0.65, which is there. All the dimensions I plugged into my Excel file automatically were loaded here. So rather than doing uh, a part, a, a tool definition one at a time, plugging in all these parameters like, you, like you've done in the past, what you can easily do is take your Excel file and make a huge list, even if they're just copies and you're just changing the diameter. That's one way to do it as well. If you're really just looking to get different diameters, maybe even different cutting lengths, but ultimately it is Excel functionality. You can take a file, copy and paste it into this one with the proper headers, proper formatting, and then do a data dump of all the tools that you'd like to, to include here. Any questions on this or anything else from Solicam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solicamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.